Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze again the Bitcoin price. But before we start, a little reminder, make sure to subscribe here to the channel because we do daily TA videos and also moon up the likes. Very much appreciated, my friends. And if you are new into crypto, then check out all the links that you find down below here in the video description, especially this one here for Coinbase. Because if you're new and you want to invest into some cryptos, Coinbase is always the best place to start. And here you can easily sign up with my link and can get also $10 completely for free if you do your first purchase in the Coinbase exchange. And also if you want to get some free altcoins, Coinbase Earn is the platform where you can get for free some coins. For example, $10 worth of Stellar, Orchid or EOS if you use the invitation links that you find down below here in the video description. But of course, first you have to open up a Coinbase account. And also if you want to buy some altcoins that you cannot find on Coinbase, Binance is the number one exchange and also therefore I have a sign up link down below here. So if you're interested, definitely go and check out all the links that you find down below here and if you already are trading cryptos then these are the recommended exchanges which I also recommend you and if you use my links down below here you can get some sign up bonus as well. And now let's start in the one hour time frame. So a little reminder, we closed the CMEs on Friday at $10,800. So most likely wherever we are moving during the weekend, we're gonna retrace back to these levels. And so far we just have some normal weekend price action. We have a little pump and now we had a little dump here, but most likely we are going to retrace somewhere here at around 10,800 before the CMEs are starting again on Monday. And here in the one hour time frame, you can see that we had here a little bearish divergence, which already played out. So currently we have the RSI back here into oversold condition. We also got here a sell signal and this is uh, already played out. So if you took this short opportunity, congratulations, but I would definitely put a stop loss at least at $10,700 because most likely we are going to go up again to where we close also the CMEs on Friday. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can also see that we came straight down here into the bottom. Currently we are consolidating and I'm expecting here a possible push here again towards $10,700 in the next couple of hours. Mm -hmm. But of course, as long as we're trading below the first moving averages here, so below 10,670, I'm expecting some continuation to the downside. Also because we have KST and MACD still shifted to the downside. So we could see here some more pushes towards 10, 1600 before we're retracing back here into the middle line because all the stochastic is oversold and that's why I'm expecting here a return towards 10700 coming up really soon and if we go over into the four hour time frame you can see that currently we are trading right at the 20 and 50 moving average and as long as we're trading below the 200 moving average I think we have clear pressure to the downside and we should expect also the price to return back down towards 10k RSI is also right here at the 50 level so we have currently some bearish signs but of course if we are able to close four hour candles again above 10,800 so above the 200 moving average we should be heading again to the upside but as long as we're trading below I'm expecting here some continuation to the downside although my own indicator we got here a sell signal it's not a good one but at least there were signs that here we could see some continuation to the downside and also remember that on the DXY we were very bullish in the last week and although we are still maintaining here the 20 moving average in the four hour and as long as we're bouncing from this important moving average I expect a continuation to the upside on the DXY and the opposite in the Bitcoin price and if we open up the Bollinger Band in the four hour you can see that we are squeezing here in this tiny channel between $10,800 and $10,500 so I'm expecting also here a possible big move incoming pretty soon. We are trading here on the bearish side so here in the lower end and if here in the KSTMACD we're going to have a bearish cross I'm prepared here to see the price dumping again at least towards 
10,500 potentially even lower. Also stochastic is coming down into oversold conditions. So we have to see what the KSD and MACD are doing. And of course, where we're gonna close these four hour candles today and also when the CMEs are starting again. And now let's open up also the daily time frame because here again we are trading right at the 20 daily moving average so it's going to be very important where we're going to close also today's candle and of course also the weekly candle but here in the daily it looks like that we are getting again rejected here from the 20 daily moving average also because we are right below the 50 level in the rsi and that could be really dangerous in case that we're gonna break here to the downside because in that case, maybe we're gonna have some support at 10,000 to 10,300 dollar. But if this support here is gonna fail, then watch out for the 200 daily moving average down here at 9,200 dollar. And we can also open up the Bollinger Band in the daily because currently we are here still trading in the upper area, which is bullish. So as long as we're closing the candles above 10,600, we should be heading towards the upside. So here the resistance would be at $11,200. But if we're gonna lose here the middle line in the Bollinger Band, prepare for the price to drop again towards. 10k we have KST and MACD still shifted to the upside which is good but as you can see they're quite flat so there is still a high chance that we could see a possible dump incoming and also bearish cross here which could lead into a major sell-off also because stochastic is all the neutral condition and if here we have a bearish cross I'm also prepared here for continuation to the downside towards 10k and I think if we're going down again towards 10k to retest this level it might get broken also because we still have the CME gap down at $9,600 and therefore I think we could fill up this gap finally and also maybe test the 200 daily moving average before we continue to trade to the upside and the opposite in the DXY maybe to push here higher towards the 200 daily moving average get rejected there and then crash again here in the DXY which would lead into a big stock market and Bitcoin price rise up so that could be then the final bottom and the new start of the next big bull run and now let's open up the weekly time frame because here currently everything is still looking very bullish we are trading above the 20 weekly moving average and if this week we're gonna close again above ten thousand two hundred dollar i think we should be good to go to the upside even though there are still signs that maybe we could see a short lift week to the downside here in the weekly time frame also rsi still above the 50 which is very bullish and if we open up the bollinger band you can see that we had here a huge week towards the middle line and we bounced so far successfully from it so i think as long as we're closing these weekly candles at least above ten thousand two hundred dollar we should be good to go to the upside but of course expect that we maybe could week a couple of days here below this price level and also close the future gap and then immediately come back up and continue our bull run because currently the weekly is looking a bit exhausted here based on the MACD and the KSD so we could see maybe some days here below this midline of 10,140 but overall we are still maintaining very bullish signs here in the weekly and also stochastic is coming now down here into oversold condition so if we are able to close again weekly candles above $11,000 I think we will see continuation to the upside and also break 12k but as long as we are not able to close a weekly candle above 11 thousand i'm still expecting here some pushes to the downside potentially also to close the cme gap and test one of the most important supports down here at around the 200 daily moving average and also in the dxy maybe get rejected at the 200 daily moving average and then continue the bear market of the dxy and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now i wish you a very nice sunday and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye